Hi, and welcome to Nuclear Dawn Help 107. This is going to be Silo for Empire. So starting off, we are Empire. Uh, I like to build out the left. The first relay tower will only build up to right about there, so you'll have to build a second one right about here. And the reason why I come up this left side is it's cheaper. It costs fewer relay towers to get to primary. We're going to put another relay tower right about there. And then you want to put this relay tower right in the middle of the open. Uh, further back from right there, but it'll be tall enough to go right over this wall once it's fully uh, at its fullest height. It'll go right over here, put another relay tower there, and then just litter this area with supplies, uh, turret, and you're going to want to put a power generator right there because once we get this line into primary, it'll be easy for them to cut it off. Now this is where they're going to use their staging point. They like to build things behind these walls, and they also like to come along this little, uh, I guess, walkway, and they like to build a forest spot on top of there. Let me show you what it looks like when you climb up there. They'll build some stuff right up here, use this little walkway to come down, and when they get siege kits, they'll try to shoot down pretty much anything that's within sight. So it makes it a little bit difficult when you're getting rained on from tons of fire from upstairs. Also, if I was Consortium, I would come up the right side. Coming up the right side helps out because then they have access to up here. Again, we're going to have a lot of trouble. So we really can't stay in primary for very long. So once you build that wireless repeater there, I like to build up the right side. It's a little bit cheaper than going up the left side. And as I'm everywhere I'm pointing at is where a relay tower is going to go. One relay tower will extend right about here. Then you want to use relay towers to extend down in that way. Also, as a side note, you can also put a power generator right there as well. You, and then once you get around here, you just build down this hallway. You can use this as a flank to shoot them from the left, and then eventually you want to get out to this, to this corner. You want your guys to be able to come out here and start shooting down all their, their forward spawn up on top of that roof as quickly as possible. Then you can use this as a staging point to get directly into their face and build into this area. Also, another thing to consider is we also, if you want to go ahead and t when, once we take that roof, our guys can walk across here and come up there if they'd like to, but I'd also like to put one of our relay towers up along that roof too. If we put our relay towers all up along the roof, again, it's cheaper, and you can build something from there, which can extend all the way out here, put a power generator back there even, and you can use it as a staging point to pinch off this side. So it makes it very easy. It's also the least expensive. Then after that, we just try to take them in their front door. All right, so we are here in the command bunker. We've been selected to be commander, and we jump into RTS mode. First thing I do is I build that relay tower right away. Build that second one I spoke about. Try to put it halfway behind the wall. And then there, there's that one. Make sure that it's clear down in the middle of the hallway. And then there's that relay tower there. It allows us to build directly into primary first. So this map, we should have the advantage of taking primary first over consortium. So that's the good thing about uh, Empire with this map. I build my power generator, and then I build my armory, <coughs> research advanced kits. Now this is what I was talking about, why we need to put a power generator. We had a saboteur that tried to cut off our power. Uh, so that's why you need to build a power generator inside primary to get you some independent some independent power out there. Now this is also very important to put some turrets right there. There's the power generator and there's where I was talking about building out to the right. Now this part is going to be a little bit exposed so I had to I had to put down a second turret. And then for here, I put another turret in front of that doorway so it has access to the hallway and the doorway to protect my guys. They were drowning in grenades. So what I did was I went ahead and built another uh, forward spawn inside primary. Because they were, see, because they were getting screwed. Now we can go ahead and continue building up the right hand side. And once we cut them off by hitting them at their base, or sorry, at their forward spawn, it'll cut most of that crap getting harassed like crazy over at, at primary. And there's our guys. They took everything out on top of that roof. They were EMPing it. Now it forces them to stop t attacking primary and start defend, uh, defending their own uh, forward spawn. I built some more power back here. It really wasn't a good idea to build it back in the back of our base, but I did it anyway. So anyway, we pretty much had that roof taken over. 
I'm gonna build a forward spot on top of that. Then as I spec specify, we use that roof as a staging point to build other structures on the right hand side. It's a lot cheaper to do it this way, just to come right over the roof. And then on top of that, we can build power out here. So it makes it really easy. And then that's pretty much it. We just kept building up the left and the right side until we pinched them in. And our guys kept uh, invading the hallways until they surrendered because we pretty much had the map dominated. Well, that's it. Thank you. Comment, like, and subscribe. Thank, thank you for watching.